I've got the um, driver's side bulkheads in and the rough outline of it. Um, so that really starts to give you some scale of how little room there is in here. Let's go around to this side. I threw that extension back in. So this is, and again, I, I might have a extra little top right there or something. I don't know yet. It can easily be added as a cube or something. Um, I also cut um, well, that's a goofy shape, but I cut it so I could flip that portion up and put the driver's seat back and drive with with the God, a shadow, man. With this side down. And the reason I jogged it over a little bit is just to get the most floor space possible with the seat driver's seat back. So if for some reason I wanted to leave, I don't know why I would, but if I wanted to leave the um, driver's seat back and still sleep in here, I actually could because, again, I'm going to probably sleep slightly diagonal and um, just trying to get every square inch I can. And also, if I'm hauling, again, I can have a full... I'll have to get the measurement on that. Um, from this corner back to that corner. Um, well, I know what the measurement is. It's about 81 inches straight, and so diagonal is a little more. Um, so next, I'm going to put the hinges. And the reason I left it, you can look here, I left... Part of it's still connected. I didn't finish it because it'll make the alignment, because this is such a small space, it'll make the alignment um, a lot easier when I put the hinges in. So put the hinges in, I'll put one here, then I'll have two on that side, and then I'll, I'll put one here, I'll have two on this side, and um, then I'll finish the cut and everything should be aligned. So I think that's what I'm going to do next. All right, where did I leave off? Um, I think we were going to finish cutting that, which I did. We put the hinges in. Um, so the goal there was to be able to put the seat back and still have that portion down so let's lift that up and ease the seat back one-handed all right that's reclined pretty far and success so pretty tight clearance but we have all that room over there that's still um, available again I could sleep across that easily and still have the driver's seat back so that's good to good to have one added benefit that I didn't foresee but I I knew I was gonna have to come up with a solution I think it just solved itself I'll get back to you um, let me move some things around so I'm inside, back door is open, and I did the opposite of what I did on the last uh, clip. I put the driver's seat down, the passenger seat is all the way forward, but I reclined, reclined it to give me, it's hard to get the perspective, but it's a... Uh, it's like a, I took the headrest off and it's um I can just chill out lean on that thing maybe on that shelf that I'm talking about building across there I can have a little TV and I've still got uh, a couple inches above my head so this is actually really comfortable 
um, as it is. I'm pleased with this. I still don't know if I'm going to keep going with the, the cabinet to this corner and then come up maybe to here and then do like a, a sink. I think that'd be good. And I can like just from where I'm sitting, I can just lean over here and brush my teeth or something. Maybe have a small like thing above here for um, shoot, sorry, above here for toiletries or whatever. But um, I think it's coming along. So um, at this point, I got to figure out what I'm going to do next. I think what I need to do is reinforce under here um, off the face of this build out a little bit to support the trailing edge of this. I think this is just kind of floating in space right now, even though it's pretty solid. Um, the way I've got these hinges set up, they're below. I, I kind of routed that out, so they're sitting below. Um, if I push hard there, I could actually rip those out. So I'm going to create some sort of support underneath this edge. So. Um, it's nice and solid, especially on the other side where we come in and out all the time. You know, I'll be climbing on that, put a lot of weight on that, and I ain't light. I'm like 270 pounds, so that needs to be strong. So this is six gallons. I bought it at Walmart. Um, it's... Uh, it needs a pickup, and a vent, and a fill. So I'm going to try and run those through the, the cap. The only problem with this was the, uh, there was a vent down here, so I, I plasti welded that. This thing's made out of HDPE, high density polyethylene, and that's the same thing that bottle caps off water bottles are made. So I just used a clear bottle cap and it actually kind of blended in with the color. And it is not leaking, so that's good. Um, I just gotta figure out where I'm gonna mount it. All right, so I welded up the top. With the, so this is, anyway, this is done. That is solid. Um, I put the drain vent slash vent over here. This is going to be the pickup when I get a pump. And again, this is the fill. So let's uh, see if I can do this one-handed. Uh, so this... Obviously not. I can't do that at the same time. So that goes down there in that little tray. This is gonna go here. I gotta tighten that up, and gotta set the phone down for a second. All right, I had to fight with that ratchet strap. I don't know. I don't understand ratchet straps. I guess. So that is not going to go 